Hello everybody, I'm Chipimp and welcome to another video. Sorry it's been a little while since my last video. I've been a bit busy with school and now the semester has started again. But here we are, we got another video for you guys. Nice quick one, I hope. If you like what you see, please feel free to like the video and also subscribe. We just hit 69 subscribers a few days ago. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna try to put out like a 69 subscriber special sometime soon. I'm working out exactly what it's gonna be, but I've thought I have a few ideas. I think it'll be pretty good. So yeah, just hang in there a few more days and I'll post that and Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into the video. So this weekend on October 16th there's going to be a mob vote for the new update in Minecraft to determine which mob they're going to add and I just wanted to talk about them real quick and give you a rundown of what these mobs are. So all three of the mobs we're going to talk about today have some sort of utility aspect in their design. We also found these three gifts of each mob. I'm not sure if these are official or if these are fan-made, like what they, where they came from. And if they are official, they could obviously change or be different on final release. So don't bet everything on these gifts. Like I said, they could be false. But I'm just going to put them up while I'm talking about each mob so you can have a better idea of what they look like besides just the little pixel art on the top. And I'm going to go through them in the order that they were announced. So the first one we got is the glare. This one is like little grassy trash monster. Gives me like Oscar the Grouch vibes. It's a pretty fun aesthetic. We don't have too much detail besides this. And if you watch the video, which is linked on the articles, which I will put all the articles in the description of this, you can go check them out yourself. But anyways, you can watch the reveal videos and you can kind of see this guy like floating around. He's got like angry eyes and goes to the darkness and starts pouting and grumbling. And like they say here, this little broody baby, it's kind of like... This feels like a pretty good description of it. He'll basically float around your base or any caves and like if he sees a dark area he'll float there and like start grumbling like oh why is it so dark here or I'm not sure what the animation's going to be like but the point is it's going to float to a dark area and then it'll kind of give you some indication of like this is dark here and it's like a you know, fun aesthetic and a nice little mob. I also think it would be pretty cool if these things spawn in like lush caves. It seems like they would fit there pretty well and then also there would be some light down there so it would be like give it like a new mob to populate the lush cave and they could just like live in this this kind of dimly lit cave and it seems like it fits pretty well. The next one is the LA. This one is a little fairy dude. He's got like little wings. It kind of looks like a Vex but like friendly version. Now the utility for this one is if you give it an item in the video here you see he gives the LA a cookie and it flies off and then it comes back with more cookies. So at first people were thinking like oh it's like an item duplicator or like where does the items come from? But it was later clarified in like a Twitter post that the items are picked up from around the area just like any items on the ground. So like you give it one cookie it'll pick up all the cookies on the floor nearby and then it'll take all the items either back to the player or back to a note block that it was assigned to. I'm not sure how the note block assigning works. Could be like gimmicky or like hard to control so we'll see. But if they implement that well I think it could work. You could have like a little item sorter or something. Plus they said that the LA actually dances when it hears note blocks so I'm sure people will be happy about that. And the last one that was announced is the copper golem. This little guy is like a one block tall golem dude. He's made completely out of copper and he'll he'll like run around your base and he'll just, if he sees a copper button, he'll just hit copper buttons. He just randomly hits copper buttons around your base. And by saying that, you're like, oh, what's a copper button? Well, if the copper golem gets in, they're going to also add copper buttons. So we have a new type of button. It's more detailing and maybe it has like a different length or a different effect than the other buttons we have. I don't know. And another unique feature for this guy is that over time it'll oxidize and slowly become a statue and then it will stop moving. So we don't know how the statue works exactly. If it's like a block you can pick up or just like a solid entity and maybe you can unoxidize it. So we'll see. But it's like a fun little dude. He like walks around your base, does a little dance and it just hit buttons for you, which could be good as like a redstone randomizer. But it's like a little more niche than the other two uses. And now to go through how I feel about them besides what they actually are. Well, which one do I think will win the vote? I think the LA is going to win the vote. Which one do I want to win the vote? I'm torn between the glare and the copper golem. I think all three have some valuable property about them. Like the most useful one, the LA. They just gave this one so much better utility than the other ones that it's not even comparable. It's just actually an item sorter. Plus they made it dance so everyone that wants it, little dancing mob, is going to vote for this. And if you look at the aesthetics of them all, this one is caters to like a certain fairy crowd and like pixies and whatever. This one is like a more redstone-y crowd and this one is like a more like dark crowd I guess. I don't know what this would be. But I feel like the glare and the copper golem are kind of going towards like a similar audience but the LA is like a separate audience. So if the, if the votes are split between copper golem and glare for half the people and the other half just all vote for the LA 
purely on aesthetics, nothing else, then the LA would win from that as well. As for their uses, the glare, I like the idea of it, but when you consider that they're changing the light level so that it only will spawn mobs at level zero, and when you consider that you can just look at the light level with F3 or your eyes, then it's like not that useful. But I do really like the aesthetic of it. It's a cool mob. I want them to add this mob, maybe have it do something else. I don't know what it would do, but just like keep this design because he looks cool. The LA, I think it's too powerful compared to the other ones. And it's also like, does it fit with the Minecraft aesthetic? It's a bit weird. I don't know. I'm not completely sold on this. I like having the item sorting idea. That's kind of fun, but I don't like the mob itself. And I feel like them making this dance was just like their way of saying, make this one win. We Once again, please pick a moo moo. And the Copper Golem is honestly what I'll probably vote for, but it doesn't really have a good use. I mean, a randomizer is already doable with a chicken and a pressure plate. Like, you don't really need this, but it's like a, it's a fun way to see him do it. And you get more variation. The button could also have different timings than the pressure plate. So maybe you just want it to be like intervals and the pressure plate, he could stand on the pressure plate and it stays on. So like, it's a little bit different. Plus having more uses for copper and little buddies, statues standing around is fun. One idea that I had was actually, what if they made the copper golem, this one wins, and then they give the copper golem like add-ons. So basically you can give it like a different item somehow, and then that would determine what its use is. So it's like, it could just be a base golem and it just does what's listed here where it will press buttons and oxidize, or you can give it something that indicates sort items so that it would do the allays function and like pick up items nearby and then bring them to like a note block or maybe a redstone source nearby or you can give it like a torch or something and then it'll like go to a dark spot and be like oh this is dark there's so much you could do with the copper golem and have it like implemented so that it could do all of these things i really love the concept but i don't know that it's doing enough right now as for my conclusion I'm probably going to vote for the Copper Golem. What do I think will win? Probably the LA. And I think the Glare is going to get underutilized and like people aren't going to vote for him as much just because it doesn't stand out as much. But I think it's still a great design. I don't want them to think this is bad. I hope the Glare gets more appreciation than it probably will. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found this interesting. And remember to check out Minecraft Live on October 16th so you can vote and see which mob you want to have in the game. Goodbye!